Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Copy here, and today we're gonna do some unboxing of a letter pad and a couple of deck of cards, and I'm gonna compare it to a Chinese playing card. I used to see a letter pad in Chris Ramsey's videos and I thought that this kind of a texture would be a good part for my unboxing videos. So I've ordered it from Alakaza Magic, that was the only place in the UK where it's available, I'll put the link down below if you're interested. And I've ordered a couple plain black deck of cards for my EDC pouch, I'm still working on it. I'm not gonna make an ASMR review about that one, but now just see what's in the box. Okay, so here's the box, it's a Chinese deck of cards, it says Diamond Poker. As I see there are a couple bulls on the ceiling. Oh. Hey Vicky! It's your goddamn plant food! Two days later. Alright, so this one just arrived today. Seems bigger because I was surprised why is that box so small. So let's see what we got in here. Oh. Newsletter. So I got this deck of cards, it's a flexible red. I've got this black and I'll see out knockout. I got the Chinese deck of cards. That's the letter pad here. Ooh. Ooh, it's fine. Mmm, tasty. So I'm gonna make a separate review about this deck. It's so might gonna be an ASMR, so I'll just put this here later. Now, let's just check these two deck of cards. It's the flexible, and this one is the diamond poker from China. Which one should I start with? First, I'm gonna start with the Chinese because I'm super excited about the quality. Okay. Looks nice, I like these colors. And it's okay, so it's diamond poker, diamond art playing cards. And this is it about the tuck case. Cards are in a separate foil. All right, the first touch feels very similar to the USB-C cards. It feels, it feels good, actually. For the price, for practice, I have to tell you that this is not bad. Okay, let's see what's on the cards. I got a spare card. It says spare card, use one incomplete. Okay. These are the jokers. It seems like a pigeon or a bird. Benu, made in China. It's very important to put on a joker that made in China, if you didn't know that. The ace of spades, the touch of these cards are quite similar to the USB-CC. There's the queen of spades, kings of spades, ace of hearts, but this one is not bad, I'm telling you. Okay, Jack of Hearts, Ace of Clubs. I like this color. Okay, and you got this card, Benu. Benu is a registered brand of high quality playing cards owned by Yangshu Benu Playing Cards Entertainment Article Company. High quality of Benu playing cards made in China. Firstly, I'm, I'm impressed of the quality of this cheap deck of cards. Guys, I have to tell you that this one is not bad. Actually, it worth the try, worth the money. And I think I'm getting better with the fan. I really liked it. I'm satisfied with this deck of cards. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. And now let's see the flexible red. It's a very similar price range. Okay, on the top case, Flexible. United States Playing Card Company, USPCC. Designed by the TCC Playing Card Company made in USA. And at the bottom, TCC Playing Card Company, 2017. Let's so open it now. So this is the Joker. It looks very simple. It doesn't say, USPCC made in USA. No. That's the Ace of Spades. Black Ace of Spades with a touch of red. There's a Jack of Spades, Queen of Spades, King of Spades. I think they put a bit of more red on these cards and make a bit more contrast with the 
black. Yeah, I believe that these are definitely more red than it used to be, and these ones as well. So you get this flexible playing card and a DCC playing card company. Inverted colors. Get a first touch of this deck of cards. It's very similar to this one. This one feels a bit thinner. It's just my opinion. Okay, I slightly feel a bit of difference because even if it says this one is the flexible deck of cards, it feels this one is less flexible than this one, the Chinese one. It's a bit harder to bend the deck. Because I'm a beginner, it's really hard to tell you why, but it feels like this deck of cards is a bit less flexible than the Chinese. So that's my overall opinion. It's not a big difference. Like thickness. This is a bit interesting because as you can see, this one seems bigger than this one. Not in these dimensions, but in thickness. The red card is slightly bigger. So if I got this up between my finger. Yeah. The red one is slightly bigger. In my opinion, these colors should be a bit more vibrant compared to the red one. Because I think the red is very vibrant, it looks very nice. And if you don't like it so red, you can make it white. But no, I'm just joking, these are the two. Two cards. Let me just talk about the Diamond Poker playing cards. I tried to find the company's website, but I couldn't. So all the information I got was on the top case or was on this playing card. On this card it says, new, unique, special and new material playing cards. Has a good reputation in the industry. I like the back design, even if I would change the colors, maybe for like red, black, black and yellow or something like that. This deck of cards is very good for card history. If you don't know what card history is, I'm trying to explain. It's like a visual manipulation of the cards which looks very good. It's just not easy. So it's something like, whoops. Something like this. Something like this. Um, I'm, I'm really just a beginner. So I don't recommend this one for Magic because the pack design draws a lot of attention from the spectators, but I would definitely recommend for card history or just practicing if you want to just ruin a deck of cards and you don't want to ruin a quite expensive deck. So this one is very good for practice in my opinion. The next one is this flexible red playing cards designed by TCC playing card company from China and printed by USBCC in the USA and it has a casino quality designed for cardistry as I mentioned earlier. It's kind of minimalist style and like this vibrant red color. For a beginner like me it doesn't really make a difference between that one or this one. Both feels very good in the hands but this one's maybe slightly thinner than the previous one. It's gonna be good for practice and I'm gonna ruin them all. The next one is this letter pad, which is very similar size to my laptop. This is the small version, and they have a mini or large, so basically a medium. It gives you a very nice surface for magic close-ups, and I hope I can use it in my unboxing videos. It has a special flannelette material, perfectly fitted on high-density sponge, and on the back has, it feels like plastic, but this one is a black lychee crane leather sole for anti slip. I don't really know what this is, but I hope you're gonna like it. And I hope you enjoyed this video, thumbs up if you did, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more upcoming optimal review. Goodbye.